Hello YouTube viewers. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a human body. A male human body actually. And we might have a lesson on the female one next time. But this is just a good general lesson on proportions um, and that sort of thing. So I guess the first rule you should know about a human body is that it is eight heads tall. Um, and when I say head, like the measurement of your head eight times is your body, normally. Not everybody, of course, because everybody's different. That is a general rule. That's how they teach it in art school. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use my ruler today, and you can do that too, um, to make the head lines. And I want to use a ruler at first so that I know that I'm getting a, a precise measurement so my body that I'm drawing will turn out well. So I'm going to make that my head's about an inch and a quarter um, in length. I'm just going to draw eight of them here on my paper. And um, so there's eight spaces. Now I'm going to draw a line here just so I can have a guide. All about guidelines. I know this isn't making sense right now, but it will, I promise. Okay, almost done, almost done. All right, now believe it or not, each one of these lines has a name. First we're gonna label them by number because, just because. Um, but each one of these lines has, is a point of the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and label them on the side here and um, I'll probably speed it up because you don't want to have to watch me write for like two minutes. But this is just so that you can get it kind of ingrained in your head. you can read that or not, but I'll go ahead and tell you. The first line is top of the head. We've got your chin, your nipples, your navel, crotch, thigh, knees, mid-calf section, and the bottom of the feet. So, now we're going to go ahead and draw some shapes and just kind of get a feel for where all this goes. Of course, we're going to start with the head, and it's obviously a head tall. So just draw an oval. Got your oval right there. Um, our chin, obviously, is there. <laughs> uh, we're going to go down maybe about a, mm, about a third of the way from this second line here. And we're just going to draw a line, just like that. And this line is going to be about maybe three head widths um, across. So we can just pretend that we have a head here and a head here. And we're just going to kind of get that right there. Um, and we're going to make a upside down triangle all the way to the crotch. So let's make sure though, before we go anywhere else, I forgot this, that we draw a line directly down the center so the body stays centered and um, it's not like swaying one way or the other as we draw it because that tends to happen when you don't have a guide. It's actually not terribly centered either. My line wasn't that great, but it's okay. Whatever. Um, we're going to make an upside down triangle to the point here where the line meets the crotch section. So we're just going to make a big triangle like that. Um, now after we have our triangle, this is like the main torso of the body, we're going to start drawing joints. And we're going to use these little snowball shapes for the joints. Um, and I'm just going to put a couple right here. These are obviously the shoulder joints. Um, we're going to put a couple I would say like right above the crotch area. Now make sure that these these joints here, which are the hip joints, do not go wider than the shoulders. Because men's shoulders are broader than their hips, where women, the hips are about equal um, distance. Like the hips and the shoulder measurements are usually the same unless you're either really skinny or really fat, whatever. But that's just a general rule because um, men have smaller hip bones. And then here at the knees, you're going to draw a couple 
more little snowball shapes, but they're going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow than the um, hip. I guess I could do some lines here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. We've got this, and this, and then you can see how the hip bones here don't quite go out the same amount, and then the knee bones are just slightly in a little bit more. Um, and then here at the bottom, we're going to just make some little triangles that don't even go halfway above this bottom line. And those are going to be the feet. Now we can kind of play connect the dots a little bit. Um, you're going to, you know, just kind of connect these little balls. And as you can see, we're starting to see a little bit of a skeleton shape as we go. Um, around the navel section, I do a couple little balls here. Um, this is going to be your elbows. You're going to be a little bit more below your navel. Since it says navel, let's make, make a belly button. Sure, that. Um, the hands are going to be slightly above the middle of the thigh. I know this part freaks everybody out. They're like, arms aren't that long, but they are. Really, they are. I promise. Um, so this is where the hands are going to be. So we have kind of a little skeleton right now. Um, and that's kind of basically how you would start your drawing. And then you would fill in the lines with um, muscles and, um, you know, body shape and all that stuff. But since I only have a small amount of time for this video, I'll finish the drawing and then darken it up a little bit with some charcoal. But I'm going to speed it up so that I have time. And then you guys can just kind of watch and get an idea. But this this lesson was just mostly to learn about the skeletal structure and the proportions and just kind of like where it all goes. So I'm going to finish this. You can watch and listen to my awesome music and I'll see you next time on my drawing lessons with Mary. Woohoo! Just you and me, just you and me Another silent night in love Just you and me, just you and me Forever love, forever free Just you and me, just you and me Just you and me Just you and me, just you and me, another sign.